Welcome, Rob Parker. What's happening? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. What's your take on the LeVar Alonzo situation? First, I'm going to say the three-game win streak is fraudulent. Okay, let's start there. Fraudulent. It's fraudulent, Skip. You know it. I, this I know whole it. notion that uh, LeVar called out Walton and now they're winning and Alonzo's back. Yeah, let's see who they play. The, the uh, Atlanta Hawks, worst record in the league. Then they played the uh, Siberia Kings. Right, because they're an NBA side period. <laughs> you know it. And then they play San Antonio. Let me see. Who was it? Who didn't play? Uh, Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard didn't play. Green didn't play. And Tony Parker. And Skip Bayless didn't play. There was nobody on that team, oh, okay? Rudy Gay. Yeah, he didn't play. Right? So, so, so they win three games. Everybody's like, oh, okay, things are going. No, things aren't going that great. And here's my point on the whole Lonzo uh, and, and LeVar Ball situation. Magic Johnson should consider trading Lonzo Ball. Consider Hear me out. Or trade him. He should. I, I would trade him for this reason. Take a look. If LeVar is this out of control and saying the things that he's saying when his kid's not even playing all that great, he will be uncontrollable, unstoppable once Lonzo gets even better. It's going to hamper the Lakers being able to attract People who want to come play for the Lakers and be in this situation. We talked about uh, um, LeBron. LeBron James and how sensitive he is. We talked about it with, with Charles uh, Barkley, right? Mm -hmm. So now you think he's going to come his last three years in the NBA, he's going to come to L.A. and have to deal with the circus and the nonsense that is LeVar Ball? I don't buy it. I don't think anybody who's trying to win – will want to be involved in this situation with the Lakers and with the sideshow that is LeVar Ball. Does he? Can Luke Walton be criticized? Absolutely. Absolutely. He can, especially when you have a nine-game losing streak. But should it be coming from one of the players' fathers? No, it shouldn't. And then if you're a teammate, you got to say, is that coming from dad or is that coming from Lonzo, who's talking to dad? Yeah. And now I don't know if I even want to talk to you in the locker room. I can't trust what's going to be out there next if I say something. It's a toxic situation. I think people are poo-pooing it, discounting it, acting like it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I can't see a guy who's serious about winning. And we're talking about one of the greatest organizations in the history of sports. I can't see this with the Yankees. I can't see this with Green Bay. I can't see why the Lakers would entertain this. And the last thing, why would Magic Johnson want to be the, the guy who set the precedent of allowing this to happen and, and this, right, for the next dad to come along who says, look at what LeVar did. LeVar was able to make money and, and do this, and he, he called out everybody and did this and got all the attention. This whole notion that you're asking the media not to talk to him is ridiculous. No, you get rid of him, not the people who are reporting on him. So if the Lakers are serious about trying to win a championship and take this to the next level, I would part ways and see what I can get with them. For me, I don't know how you attract anybody serious about playing basketball. LeBron James wants to be no part of this. LeBron, he's, LeVar Ball is not very high on LeBron's list to begin with. Can you imagine LeBron's there? And you, LeVar's like, my son better than LeBron. LeBron is stunning my son's growth. If they didn't bring LeBron, uh, LeBron in, Lonzo will be balling. Those are exactly what you would hear. You know, LeVar Ball is not going to change. This is what we know about fame. Fame is addictive. It's intoxicating. And sometimes people can OD on fame. LeVar, he, he figured this thing out, Skip. He loves it. And let's be real. Skip, let's be real. Lake, the Showtime Lakers are not coming back with LeVar, but with Lonzo Ball. He's boring. He has no personality. He's not like Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson had a megawatt, megawatt smile. You talked to him. He was so engaging. He's coming down, giving you this right here, looking the way. That's not Lonzo Ball. You looking at Lonzo Ball like, oh, my God. Oh, man, I can't wait to see Lonzo with that no-look pants. I can't wait to see Lonzo with that wrap around behind the back pants. What are you saying that at? I ain't heard that here. I've been living in L.A. for a year and a half. I ain't heard him say nothing about Lonzo. Come on, Skip. Let's be real. Magic, I can tell you this. I know for this for 1,000% certain. Another ball won't be playing on the Lakers. <laughs> I know that for certain. So if you think Jello or Melo or anybody else named Ball... I don't care if he's seven foot tall. He's averaging 25, 25 in college. He ain't playing because he might be related to LeVar and Magic doesn't want to deal with this headache. Mm. This, is, this is ridiculous. I, I, look, I get it. Nobody, no coach is above criticism. Mm -hmm. But I said this before, having played and been in locker rooms, 
skip when something is being, when a, a significant other or a family member says something, we perceive that it came from that, from that person that's in the locker room. True story, I was in Denver, <clears throat> and uh, a teammate of mine's girlfriend was saying some stuff. I stepped to him. I said, look here, bro, I ain't got no problem with you, but your girl, you need to handle that. I say, I don't want to have a problem with her, but I'm going to have a problem with you because I see you every day. But fortunately, she wasn't tweeting it because you No, 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 no. There, 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 yeah, there was no social media. No, no we didn't really had a problem, but you didn't know about it then because if she'd have tweeted it, Ooh. there'd have been some serious Ooh. problems. There'd be some Ooh. consequences. There'd have been a misunderstanding, Joy. So, Mr. Sharp, yes. I'm going to remind you about your man, LeBron James. Not too long ago, he chose to return to Cleveland and play for an owner who said he quit in his final playoff mm-hmm. series. Yep. An owner that I thought had burned the bridge to the ground mm-hmm. with LeBron James. Now, obviously, he's from Northeast. Ohio. I was going to say, I'm glad you okay. brought that up. I got that's that. the difference. But, but, hey, you want to talk about swallowing pride? Well, well I, was on your, I was on your show back then when that story Woo. broke, and I said, LeBron is more man than I would you know ever what? be. I st- seriously, I get chills even thinking no about way. LeBron giving in to that man after what that man did to him publicly. He promised he'd like sell LeBron the franchise. He promised LeBron he'd sell the franchise. So. All right, I, I do not disagree with one thing you said about the father of Lonzo Ball. He is, to use your word, he's become toxic. He has become addicted to the drug of fame. Mm-hmm. I, I get all that. But I'm going to tell both of you one more time, the son is just too gifted to give up on and trade anytime soon. He is going to be transcendent. He may not be the lightning rod draw that Magic is or was, but... Trust me, kids everywhere love Lonzo more than you. Am I right about this? Uh, I think you're, uh, you're underestimating. Kids love LeVar, too. Unfortunately, they do. They love the whole family idea. But, Skip, but here's the thing. I'm saying he can't shoot like Steph. He don't have handles okay, like Kyrie. Time out. I'm going to – you open the door. I'm going to run through this door. You have been crushing him all year on this show saying he can't shoot a lick. Over his last 11 games, he has shot 41% from the three-point line. And I told you last year he made 40% at UCLA. And I know the line's not quite out to the NBA line. But Kenny Smith last night on Inside the NBA was sitting there at halftime. And I was applauding in my living room because Kenny Smith's saying, I live in L.A. and my kid played against Lonzo coming up. And and when he was at Chino Hills, my kid was at Modern Day. And Kenny was saying, and I'm paraphrasing his line to Charles, but... He can shoot. He could always shoot. He could shoot at UCLA, and he'll be able to shoot in pro basketball. And I, I'm telling you, this is special stuff. This is gifted because in his last three games, he's gone for 10 rebounds, 11 rebounds, and 10 rebounds. Against who? You, you know what? It doesn't matter, Rob. It does They're matter. much bigger. He's 20 years old with a, a kid body still. You know what? Who was the greatest below-the-rim rebounder we ever saw in this league? Dennis Rodman. Lonzo is Rodman-esque on his rebounding. I can always see it where you have the gift, the knack, the feel for. Is that Miss Shot going to bounce long or short? You watched him. Rodman, absolutely. you saw him covering him in sure. Detroit. Right. He just had the nose for the ball. You can't teach it. You can't coach it. And we haven't even seen We're tip of the iceberg in his passing because he doesn't have a great rapport with his teammates, and it could be because some of them are starting to distance themselves in the locker room. I don't disagree with that, and I'm not defending Lonzo on that point. But you put two established stars, whether it's LeBron or Paul George, I don't know who, but you put two in there with him next year, he's going to average a triple-double for a season. Pretty soon he's going to because he's going to be able to score 10-plus points. He got 18 last night. Here's the thing, though, Skip. You said over his last 10 games, they played 41 games. 11. He's, 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 oh, his last 11 games, they played 41. But this last night was only the third time he shot 50% in the ball game. Out of 41 games. But, but – I, I've said the father painted the biggest target on this kid's back of any rookie in any sport ever. And has he crumbled under the spotlight? Yeah, early on he That's was playing his dad, said, his dad said, I've been talking all this life. So you think Lonzo going to say, I'm at the NBA now, I'm not going I'm, I'm to be good? Yeah. That's what his dad said. Yeah, I'm just the, going by what his dad that said. That was Skip. AAU basketball. And, and, this is the Skip, NBA. Skip, do you think someone – of LeBron's caliber, or Paul George wants to be involved. I don't know. This is not what the Lakers okay, are about. Remember, I just can't. the Lakers transcend 
uh, as a franchise, LeVar Ball, because they're still in Los Angeles yeah. and they're still the old Showtime. No doubt. Mystique. But you got it. It's like one of the, it's a cornerstone NBA it, it franchise. It is, but here's the thing though, Skip. LeBron doesn't need the Lakers. LeBron built his name in Cleveland, okay, one I got of the it. smallest, smallest markets. LeBron is. Okay, but wait you- a second. LeBron owns the last. We heard he owns two homes in Brentwood, yeah. which is not far from where you are. Okay. When you make I mean, when you make ninety million dollars off the court, okay. he probably got, got five it. homes. He might, but I think he loves Los Angeles, and I believe his family loves off seasons in Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, I like Am it I too. Right? So do I. Yeah. I so do I. I. I love LA. I love it. Thank but you. Thank you, Randy. LeBron Newman. don't want that drama. <laughs> LeBron, LeBron don't is want that drama. drama. He doesn't want what that drama. You know, I'm with you 100%. <clears throat> to your point about Lonzo being good, it actually is the opposite. When Lonzo's not playing well, that's when LeVar ratchets yeah. it up. We didn't uh, hear from him at UCLA because he was the best player on the team. Right. He was going I, into I, number no, two I, I don't, overall I don't draft think, pick. I think he'll have to be able, all, to, you know, all those checks that he wrote earlier. Yeah. And then it will be, oh, look, see, I told you. And just what you said, I, I believe that could come out of LeVar's mouth. That LeBron came and he's stumping the growth totally of my good. son. That, totally that definitely could come out but of his mouth. But you have to remember that winning isn't everything. Kids really, really do love Lonzo. He's the future of the NBA. And trading him right now would be admitting that Magic Johnson's first big splash move was a You know what? Remember this. Which is not going to happen. Remember, remember this. It's not about being right. It's about getting it right. That's, that's what, true. That's the I way. Agree. That's yeah. the way that you, you you should always run teams. I'm with you. It's not about draft. If you draft somebody and force them and say, well, I don't want people to think that Coach I made the Belichick wrong decision. Belichick is a prime example yeah. of that. Yes. Yeah. Magic got it right. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Okay. You well, he bet? ain't going to be magic. I do want to bet. What would you like to oh, bet, no, no, no. Why don't we bet a watch? Let's do that. <laughs> no, not that $29 Touché. special yeah. with uh-huh. Tater Logs. What do you say? Like my watch, Rob? It's nice. That's right? a beautiful Wait, watch. Wait, his cost $10. <laughs> <laughs> cost and mine did not cost $10. Hey. $10? Hey, let me get a fill up on pump three. And let me get that watch. Rob, thanks for joining us. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.